Hey, welcome to my intuitive numbers reading. Um, I'm just going to kind of explain what I'm doing. Um, I've got this cube here. I'll just kind of give you an example. I shuffle it just like I shuffle a tarot card or tarot cards. And then whenever I kind of feel that the right one has been set, I'll go ahead and roll it here. And then what I do, just kind of make sure that center one is the one that's upright. And then I kind of go from that number here. So I'll go one, eight, nine, eight, four, two, eight, six, nine. And then kind of what I just explain is what the numbers intuitively mean. I mean, you, if you go up online, and check out these numbers. Everyone's got a different interpretation and everything. And then I'll also add those together. So we've got the 9, 9. So it's 18 and 9. 14, which is 5. 23, which is 5. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then, yeah, I'll just kind of tell you. Um, the top row, middle row, bottom row. And then kind of just look at certain other little patterns and stuff. Um, ever since I was little, I guess, I've always been intrigued by numbers. Um, I think the biggest thing for me coming up right now um, is just like when I used to be in a bad mood as a kid or whatever numbers would always cheer me up I like doing math in school I know I'm one of those weirdos and then just like with this happening just a few weeks ago I was kind of trying to figure out because I've always wanted to do the tarot readings and stuff and it just never felt right to me There's something something missing I needed to go about it in a different situation and this idea came to me and I couldn't figure out, you know, how am I going to pick these numbers? Do I put them all in a little bowl and pick out numbers separately or whatnot? And I, the exact same day that this idea came to me, I happened to go to the thrift store, which I never get to go to that thrift store, like, ever. So it was just kind of quinky dink that it all happened the same day and happened to find this little fella, and it just all seemed to come together. So... Um, I know my interpretations of the numbers probably won't be exactly the same as all the numerology readers and everything like that. And this isn't no, like, personal numerology number. Um, I am getting into that. Well, I am into that. I'm trying to figure out how to kind of spread the word on that as well. Um, my goal right now is just kind of do maybe a little personal numbers reading and hopefully like put that on Etsy or something so we'll look into the future for that um, this is all kind of new to me uh, just bear with me please and keep your negative comments to yourself that ain't helping nobody but it is what it is you know to each their own this is just my kind of way to express myself to hopefully help the world um my life or my job my other job really takes quite a few hours out of my day so just trying to get this figured out whether i'm going to do it like once a week i would love to do it once a day but i mean my job takes 15 16 hours away from me every day so really don't have a whole lot of time to sit here and do videos every single day which really sucks but it is what it is you know step by step it'll be going um as for this like bonus reading i'll kind of show you what i'm talking about you've got like the one eight nine and that one it seems like when you're starting out and then all of a sudden things are going to be going good for you it's a new opportunity following your intuition it seems like whatever you're going for is really going to be continuous. Then with the 842, 
seems like it's kind of leading you to like a second opportunity that's going to be a little bit more stable, which is also going to be a bit continuous. And then I am a little goofy, so of course we're going to make fun of the 69 there. Not make fun of it, but we got the 869. For the rest of the weirdos like me, got to laugh at that a little bit. Um, but with the eights, lots of eights. Those are good. Those are good. Seems like there's going to be some success coming. Uh, with 869, what am I getting here? Seems like not to kind of rush into things. Don't be rushing in. Kind of taking your time. Going as slow. Um, honestly, to be... To me, this reading is actually kind of a personal one for me. Um, whether you guys, like certain numbers reach out or not to you. Um, I basically kind of interpretate like, and it's not always, see I can, I can't tell you every little thing that comes to me because like even numbers are positive, odd numbers. It's not so much negative, it's more about truth and stuff, but it doesn't always apply. Like it's the messages that are coming to me through the numbers. It's really more important. But what's also more important is any of these numbers that stand out to you. Like let's let's say 849, that number follows you around all the time. Or 941, or just 42, or 888. I mean, you can't beat that right there. So it's just, it's kind of fun to play around. Not completely. I'm not completely crazy. <laughs> I just like I like numbers, and I think if you guys like numbers as well, um, if you can bear with me for a while until I kind of get used to explaining these readings, that would be great. Um, any comments or anything? If you want to subscribe that like button, all that fun stuff that you get to hear on every single YouTube channel. Uh, I don't like being like that, like everybody else, but unfortunately, if you did have a like button or comment or subscribe, it would give me kind of an idea of how people are relating to this stuff. And like I usually just kind of follow my intuitional ideas. Um, you're more than welcome to suggest some ideas. But don't be offended if I don't follow them. Just because first and foremost important thing that all of us can do is just follow our intuition, you know? If it feels right, it feels right. If it feels wrong, you back off there. So I hope this kind of gives you a little explanation of my thoughts on progress on what I'm doing here. I will try to speak as well as I can. Like I said, my job kind of takes me away and honestly I'm kind of isolated for most of that time as well. So I'm just trying to kind of get out of my not talking as much as I used to stage. And I've always been I've always been pushed to do something like this, like a YouTube channel. I just, again, like I said, wasn't sure. I know I do artwork, I do oracle and tarot card readings, uh, personal paintings I do. Um, if you're ever interested in any of these things, I've kind of back and forth been trying to throw it on Yetsi and I've tried to have my websites and this and that. and. Sometimes it doesn't always work, but if you guys are deaf, interested in the personal painting or any of that stuff, or even one of these, 
and it would be more in depth too. I mean, it's not going to be just like a three minute long video explaining what the numbers are. I'll really kind of get into it. And then eventually I do want to do the personal re or personal numerology numbers, all four of them. Or however. Yeah, four, five. Ah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes my brain doesn't remember certain things. I know what I'm talking about, but my brain doesn't want to tell my mouth, you know? Um, anyways, I guess that is about it. You guys have a great day, and thank you for taking your time to check me out. I will see you guys later. Have a great day.